Hey guys, I'm Q the Pirate with the Matani.com. I am a computer geek at heart. I'm an IT guy. I'm a network security manager. I'm here to talk to you about Windows 10. Windows 10 is the end all be all for Windows systems. Unfortunately, for those of us who love Windows 7 or love Windows 8, for those who upgraded soon and grow used to it, Windows 10 is going to be from here on out. Microsoft is not going to be releasing another operating system after it. It's just going to be continuing to update Windows 10. Now, some of the big issues that we've been having with Windows 10 hearing that we've been hearing over the internet has to do with a lot of the privacy issues with when Windows and Microsoft using all of using data for diagnostics, for testing, for any sorts of things. So what I'm going to talk to you today is about Windows 10 privacy. We're going to go through every setting in Windows 10 and some of the things that you might not know about in order to secure your privacy to your level of comfort. Obviously these are just suggestions and you can pick and choose out of any of these that you want to do. So let's get down right to it. Now first off we're going to go through the Windows 10 settings. We're going to go through every setting here. We'll hop into system, uh, display settings, notifications and actions, apps and features. Now I want to tell you that some of these that we're doing I've already done on my laptop so we aren't you aren't going to see the proper result but these are the proper commands that you should be entering. Now offline maps is something that you'd normally find in your uh, Google Maps app on your phone where they, if you're zoomed in on a specific area or area, it will download a certain area of that map to your phone. This is exactly what it, uh, Offline Maps does. So what I like to do is I like to turn off automatically update apps. And if you want, you can also just hit delete all maps to save space if, you just, if you've used it before. This may not be mostly a privacy issue, but it is something that automatically downloads in the background, and I don't like it. Now let's go into devices. Your, dev your devices will show up here. Connected devices. I usually have my Bluetooth turned off because I don't use it that much with my laptop. Mouse, typing, autoplay. Definitely turn off autoplay. As a security person, autoplay is something that people will use if they put something onto a CD or onto a flash drive in order to automatically run on your computer to try and install something on your computer that you do not want. Network and Internet. Personalization. accounts. Now, for, when you hop into Windows, it's going to or my, Windows 10, it's going to want you to sign up with a Microsoft account. When you install Windows 10, definitely stick with a local account. When you install it or upgrade it, it's going to ask you to use either Express Settings or Customize. Definitely hit Customize because Express Settings is automatically going to share everything. It will save a lot of a lot of time here. Now, this is allowing me to sign in with a Microsoft account instead. I do not want that because that means every time I log into my computer, it's going to be linked to that account, things are going to be uploaded, and items like that. Sign in options, definitely add a password. Work access has to do with uh, work access is just like the home groups. You can add family if you're on a Microsoft account. Definitely pick a local account. Now sync your settings. If you have a Microsoft account, this will have you sync everything. Web browser settings, passwords, ease of access, language preferences, all of that to your Microsoft account. Time and language. None of these have to do with privacy. Here we go. This is the one of the big settings. Go through here and just turn everything off. Um, advertising ID allows them to track what the things you're interested in and tailor your ID specific to you. 
smart screen filter will check your web the URLs that you're going to to see if they're uh, malicious or not. Now what this does is this sends the URLs you are going to to Microsoft. So if you go somewhere, it sends that information to Microsoft. This option that's grayed out right here is send Microsoft info about how I write to improve typing and writing in the future. Everything you write, everything you type, it will send that info to Microsoft for them to study. Let websites provide locally relevant content by accessing my language list. This allows websites to access what languages you have activated on your laptop that way it can try and provide local content like if you're this is mostly if you're international so let's say you speak Mandarin um, it'll pick up any country or it'll pick up local content in China or in and whatever area of the world you're in location definitely turn location off this is mostly for us using our phones and trying to use maps but some devices that we don't know do have uh, GPS devices built into them. Clear your location history and the great thing about privacy is they have this area of apps that can use certain uh, aspects of your privacy. All of these are turned off. Camera, it says let's apps use my camera and I've, I've only got a certain certain types of apps that I let use my camera. In fact I don't like these things so I'm going to turn them off right now. Let apps use my microphone. Speech inking and typing. Uh, this is more of a Cortana thing. We'll talk to about that later. Account info, definitely off. I turn everything off for apps for anything that wants to hit my contact list. Calendar. Messaging. Oh, was there something in the calendar there? Nope. Great out. Radios. This is for things like Bluetooth, and it lets apps control whether to turn them on or not. Other devices. This allows your apps to automatically share and sync with devices that you don't pair. I have this sucker turned on because I am linked up to my Xbox One. Feedback frequency. Windows should ask for my feedback. Hit never. Hit never. Diagnostic and usage data. If you look at this, you'll see that it says basic, enhanced, or full. There is no option for do not send my device data to Microsoft. This is something we will cover later. It gets a little bit in-depth. And then background apps. These are apps that you will uh, allow to run in the background that can send notifications and stay up to date. All right, let's hop back into update into security. Now Windows Update, unless you're on Windows Enterprise, will not allow you to pick and choose updates. It will only allow you to either automatically install or notify when to restart. Hop back here. Windows Defender is Windows uh, cloud-based, or they're using a cloud-based protection now for their uh, virus issues. If, so what they'll do is take signatures of files that you have and that could be potential security problems and send them to Windows Defender to help the group as it would. Obviously, Windows Defender is actually pretty good, but if you have Symantec or McAfee and prefer those, definitely stick with those. I am a Symantec kind of guy. I have Windows Defender on right now because I have not installed Symantec on this uh, laptop yet. Backup, you can use this area for backup or recovery. Activation, if you upgrade from Windows 7, even an uh, some of the non-legit versions, they will allow you to upgrade. And then developer issues. Now thanks for stopping by guys. Today we went over just some basic stuff uh, you can do to protect your privacy in Windows 10. Now stay tuned, I'm going to be doing another video that gets a little bit more in depth. Some of the advanced things that you can do, such as edit some of the registry items, remove some of the services, in order to really completely wipe out anything that could invade your privacy on Windows 10. Now if you have any other types of tech questions, please tweet me at Twitter at QThePirate or check out my show Wednesdays on Twitch. It's the Blue Plate Special. It's 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 3 p.m. Eastern. So it fits into your lunch hour or your happy hour, depending on what kind of day you're having. Now, if you like these videos, if you like the pr content we provide to you from TheMetonium.com, please subscribe to this channel. Or if you like some of our streamers, 
you like Laz, you like Nice Drake, you like Space Mexican, Darius Johnson, DoD Com, please subscribe to us on Twitch as well. Not only does it help us out, it helps you out. It allows us to provide better stuff for you. If you want to read any articles having to do with some of the stuff that we do around here, some gaming, some tech, please head over to thematani.com. We've got a lot of we've got a lot of items having to do with everything. We've got forms. We've got a free mumble server you can use. So stop on by, have a chat, see what maybe you, there's something you'd like to get involved with. All the world's a stage. Uh, I, you can't make this shit up. I mean, that's that's one of the weirdest things about like going into. They this have their exits and their entrances, and one man is time to spend. Right here, if you have a beard, random men are going to always walk up to you and try to drink beer. Ew, that's so disgusting. Oh. You're one of the single strangest things that I've found. Oh, it's just the fact that people cry so much. Oh my, not a weed.